Here's another project with Dollar Tree tags. Keep watching. We're going to start off with two of these Dollar Tree ornaments. Cute as they are, but we're going to fix them up a little bit. So I want to change these from kind of a more of a Christmas theme into a winter theme. Something that's going to last us until spring. You can use scrap paper, you can use decorative paper, you can use any types of bells and tiny ornaments that you have. You can use twine, ribbon. I'm going to use wrapping paper that I already have to cover these. We're going to start by just untying this ribbon. We can put it aside and use it again on something else. You know how these are. Sometimes the paper comes off easily, sometimes not so much. So you get a good example of both in this video. Don't worry if you're stuck with something like this because it can be fixed. Just grab some sanding paper instead of my block, which is a finder grit, I've decided to use this little bit rougher sandpaper. Make sure that you get all the glitter off and that you try to get your surface relatively smooth to the surface that's under it. Wipe off all the residue. Now to decide what we want to do with our two ornaments, how we want to make them. We'll go start with this one and we're going to cover it with this wrapping paper. I think this wrapping paper came from Dollar Tree. I could be wrong, and maybe something that I got at Dirt Cheap. I'm gonna just roughly draw a little trim here. You don't have to cut it close, and I intentionally did this a little bit messy and larger than needed, and then cut it out kind of sloppy to show you that that won't make a bit of difference once we get it applied. So just bend your paper against the way that it wants to roll and it'll flatten out for you a little bit. Now that we have a smooth surface on our tag, we're gonna take a glue stick. You don't have to use name brand, it's just what I had nearby. You can use the Jot or any type of, even a cheap glue stick. The glue stick for me gives a nice clean finish. It doesn't seep through and Drying time is relatively fast. I can still work with it and do what I need to do without having to wait. Doesn't leave bumps underneath like a glue, like a glue gun would. So it's just a smooth and neat appearance. You'll see that in just a minute. You're gonna press that down, take my wooden ruler and just press down and it's almost like you're ironing out the paper. You wanna get it nice and flat, no bubbles underneath. Then take the sanding block and begin to sand away and downward at an angle. That's going to shear the edges of that paper off and give you a beautiful, smooth, clean finish. Do this all the way around and look at that. Perfect looks like it came right from the factory like that doesn't it love it okay so for the next one here is some wrapping paper this originally came from target and probably in the dollar spot but i got this from dirt cheap i believe it was last year and i have used it on a different project i'll try to link that for you because the two would match nicely in your decor Again, just roughly cutting the border out. Because this is a light paper that you can see through, I don't want it to darken up by putting it on that brown. Plus you would see the little white residue that's left. So I'm gonna go ahead and just paint this entire thing white. And this will make the wrapping paper look more opaque and make our designs on there really pop. So consider painting first. You don't have to use chalk paint. That's just what I'm using, but consider painting first if you're gonna use a thin paper or something with a white background. 
It's really going to make the details on your paper pop. Okay, so while that's drying, we're going to go back to this tag with the snowflakes on it and think about how we want to embellish it. Now I'm showing you all of this because I kind of want you to see my thought process and some options that you can use yourself. All right, so this is something that I took off another ornament last year and I saved it. This came from Dollar Tree. It's frosted, so I think it looks good with the snowflakes. It looks good with the winter theme. And this ribbon, I think, is just gorgeous. I think this ribbon came from Walmart. Just going to make a little shoelace bow here. Kind of think about how I want to place that. And you can do the same. Put it in the center, put it on the bottom, off to the side, whichever you choose. These are some frosted mini pine cones that came from Dollar Tree. I want to pick some of the tiny ones out because I don't want to overwhelm the top of that with huge pine cones. I want, I want mini because I want it to look nice. I guess what I'm looking for is proportion. So be sure that you poke the hole out where the tag is, where the, uh, the tag hanger goes. Okay, so I'm just using some hot glue to tack that down. I'm going to put some little, I think this is table scatter, and I'm not sure where it came from. I've had it for years. And then I'm going to start placing down my mini pine cones. Just a little at a time. I kind of go by what feels right when I look at it, uh, if that makes sense. And since I'm using it in my home, that's the important thing. Do what feels right to you, what feels good for you, and don't worry about what it might look like to someone else. Unless you're selling them, you know, do what makes you happy. Trimming up this ribbon, just putting a little slant on the edges, and I'm getting the spider webs off from the glue. Then I thought this ornament that I got from Dirt Cheap, I think it came from Target. It looks like one of Target's uh, originally. Would be so pretty here. It's like a ceramic, but it's rough. It's not glazed, in other words. So there's two sides. One has a little bit of pencil mark on it or scuff marks. So I'm just going to use that side to place the glue down. I'm using hot glue because the surface is porous and rough on the house so I think it'll fit just fine with the Gorilla Hot Glue. Now I'm taking another one of these same pieces that came off of a, a different ornament and I'm just going to cut it down and these make cute little frosted trees, right? Like little snowy trees. So we're just going to add those, give our house a little shrubbery out front. We want it to look like a farmhouse. Now it looks like it's nestled in the woods. Then I'm going to trim it out with a little bit of the ribbon that we used on top. I flip that over, tack it down with a little glue on the back. Isn't that cute? I love this. I'm gonna take some jute twine, just feed it through that hole, and here is a simple knot that you can use so that you can hang it. Just put my two fingers in the loop, grabbing the ends, pulling it and sliding the knot down. There you go. What do you think about that? Is that not the perfect little farmhouse mini tag? I love it. Okay, so our paint has dried and we're gonna use the glue stick again. We're going to cover the surface of this quite well. Then I'm going to lay this down on top, press it just a little, and then I'm going to grab my ruler and then press it out just like we did the other one. And you can see that the green is really standing out on there and the white background is nice and crisp because we painted first. 
Now we'll sand it. I love this part. There you go. Beautiful little tag. Now, again, here are some ideas that you could use for your second tag. Those are both ornaments that I already had. And I decided to use some scrap pieces that I had. Both of these picks came from the Dollar Tree. I just cut those pieces off. And then these cute little gloves, look at that. They have fur on the top. These originally came from Target, but I got them at Dirt Cheap. I'm just going to decide where I want to put them and then slide the knot down on the strings and just simply tape them on the back. Now, if you were going to give this as a gift, of course you would want to use, you would want to trim that down and then put some brown packing paper or something like that on the back to make it neater. Nobody's going to see mine. Then I'm gonna glue the second glove a little on top of the other and then down on the tag. And we can put our greenery down. This is why we don't throw scraps away. We keep them because you can always use them for little pieces like this, little projects. Now I want this to lay flat so I'm trimming off one side. Otherwise, when you put glue on it, it's not gonna lay flat. It's gonna stick up and you're not gonna get a good grip on your surface. I don't want it to fall apart, so I'm going to trim it down, then add my glue. You still have the dimension on the other side, so you're not losing anything by doing that. These little white pieces to me look like snow. And then I'm going to take this little piece of a pick, which I'm not sure where it came from, just to add a little red up there. Because I feel like this still says winter and it doesn't say Christmas. I'm gonna use my chalk pen or chalk marker and just add a little bit of snow, just a little dusting of snow to the leaves. This does not have to be perfect. You can go right over the tips or you can make lines or however you wanna do it. But I felt like since this was kind of a snowy theme for me, then I wanted to add some snow onto the greenery and onto my berries. You don't have to do this though. Guys, be sure to follow me on Instagram and on Pinterest. I've got that information and the links in the description box below. I'd love to see if you're doing any of these projects. If you've done any, tag me on Instagram. I'd love to see what you've got. And if you have any pins from things that you've copied that we've done here, be sure that you send me your link so I can check it out. I also have my email in the description box if you would like to contact me. Or if you have any questions that you don't want to leave in the comments. And there you go. Two cute little winter mini tags that you could keep out in your decor or you could give as a gift but it'll last all winter no need to put these away when you put the christmas tree up what do you think which one's your favorite i love them both but i have to say the one with the little farmhouse is my favorite thanks for watching guys come back and see me soon bye